Hello, my name is Jasmine Inbar, BDN Marketing Manager at the Cyber, Space and Intelligence Directorate at Rafael. It's a pleasure to be here and present Rafael's next generation OT cyber defense. I'd like to start with a short introduction about Rafael and its impressive performance in the cyber domain. Rafael is an international defense company that develops and manufactures advanced defense systems for the Israeli Defense Forces and the Defense Establishment, as well as for diverse customers around the world for over 70 years. Rafael is a government-owned company and serves as Israel's national laboratory for center of excellence in several disciplines and technologies. Rafael is a world leader in diversified area of innovative, integrated, and interdisciplinary solutions at the leading edge of global technology. From cyber defense, image solutions, artificial intelligence, electro-optics, image processing and analysis, air superiority systems, missile technologies, space, ground and maritime systems. Rafael is a home to state-of-the-art technologies and patents, but most importantly, Rafael employs the best scientists and engineers, thereby creating solutions not only to cope with today's problems, but solutions to address the most complex challenges in years ahead. Rafael has more than 25 years of experience in the cyber domain. Being targeted on a daily basis by Israel's adversaries and as the major contractor of the Israeli MOD for some of the most sensitive programs in Israel, Rafael adapted a proactive and comprehensive cyber defense concept to protect its critical assets platforms, and projects that, together with being the national cyber lab for the Israeli MOD, built Rafael's vast cyber experience both in the IT and the OT domains. Today, Rafael offers its customers a tailor-made cyber defense solutions based on its experience, know-how, and technologies. The approach is from cybersecurity to cyber defense. We are offering a comprehensive cyber defense and addressing technologies, personnel, intelligence, information methodologies, and processes. Rafael's cyber solutions include assessment, design, deployment, training, and support. Our cyber portfolio includes national projects combining both the IT and the OT domains. Rafael has designed, implemented, and is operating the Israeli CERT, the largest national level cyber program in Israel, as well as other CERTs around the world. It is also interesting to see how we've taken our unique core cyber technologies in the defense industry and made them available for the civilian market. We've done projects for central banks, as well as orchestrated a one-of-a-kind unified IT and OT stock which monitors the entire operation of Israel's railways, covering all the IT and administrative information for all systems, as well as the OT data coming from the railway itself, including signaling, electricity, etc. The need for OT cybersecurity grows exponentially. The high cost of industrial equipment and the devastation to communities and economies that an attack could generate are key factors for organizations looking to protect their industrial networks. In recent years, industrial control systems have become digitized, and, digitized I'm sorry, and connected, and operational technologies are being exposed to a multitude of security threats, some unique and some originating from the IT security world. Some of the well-known OT cyber uh, attacks in recent years are Triton, Black Energy, Stuxnet, Industrial, and in addition, many other uh, lower-profile OT attacks were detected. And in most cases, the detection and attribution to the cyber activity was only in the post-mortem stage after the damage to the OT system was already done. The need for a better cyber monitoring, investigation, and response in the OT sectors is clear. And there is a slow but consistent move in large organizations towards improving OT security and in some cases building OT stocks. Although OT networks have some common cybersecurity similarities to IT networks, 
there are also major differences. The threat landscape is different. The potential risk is different. And therefore, the response and remediation is different. This leads to the requirement to have an OT cybersecurity system which addresses the security challenges of all layers, including an OT store. When looking at a typical industrial control network diagram, it's obvious that the attacker can attack from various entry points whether from the bottom level, the factory level, by coming directly with his own laptop or a disk on key with a malicious code, or from the upper level, the IT, through the security all the way down to the factory level, and also by a remote connection, bypassing it uh, into the control network. And these are just examples. What I'm trying to emphasize is that we have to have a security OT solution for all layers to cover all aspects and all attacks. And that's where Rafael's Cada Dome comes in place. A new level of protection to SCADA systems, delivering a unique protection for critical infrastructures which goes beyond currently available network analysis solutions. SCADA Dome, a complete solution for all layers, the physical layer, the network and computing layer, as well as the situational awareness level. And now let's dive into the solution. We put a great amount of emphasis on the lower level, the SCADA environment, with Rafael's own patented product, the SLI. The SLI provides physical cyber protection for the plant itself, which continuously monitors the physical industrial processes and alerts on cyber attacks based on the analysis or the data collecting by physical uh, sensors in the plant, for example, pressure, temperatures, um, RPM, etc. The system then informs the engineers where the attack is taking place and what, what actions need to be done in order to mitigate possible damages. It is based on AI, artificial intelligence, and machine learning algorithms, which uh, learn the physical system, any kind of system, by the way, and what it does, it learns by that creates a model of the physical system and afterwards we attach it to our own logic of attack vectors, which are the rules we are looking to detect. While analyzing the flow of information going from the PLC up to the HMI, we are able to detect cyber attacks, not looking at the network's command, but at the physical data and are able to address the attack. This is a more robust way for, to detect attack on physical layer, and you can all agree with me that physics cannot be tricked by any means. The network in infrastructure protection includes integration of best of breed industrial network security solutions. For the protection on the computing infrastructure, we provide system engineering and integration of protection systems on all the industrial computing infrastructure and the facility, such as endpoint protection, file sanitation systems, etc. And finally, the SSA, developed by Rafael, is a sim for the OT world, including a very simplified UI, also for the non-cyber expert users. The SSA collects inputs from all relevant sensors to build a unified situational awareness security picture. Rafael's SSA layer fuses together the physical world and the cybernetic world, combining them into one comprehensive security picture. Throughout the years, Rafael has partnered with local and international companies to strengthen its cyber capabilities, and this has proved itself as being a success. We are keen to partner with the OT industry and invite you to join the journey and partner with us. Thank you all for listening. I hope the next time we'll meet will be face to face. Until then, stay safe and all the best.